Welcome to the Sawmill. Saw, dudes. All right, guys. Welcome back to a, another episode of the Course Vlog here for Cell Farms. We are about to check out hole number two here at the farm. Um, we're going to give you another little in-depth look here at hole number two, Sawmill, here for Cell Farms. And yeah, let's just jump right into it. Subscribe and vibe, like this video, and see you down the fairway. All right, as you can tell, we're standing back here at the Longhorns, the tips. Here is this hole two. As you can tell, there is a really another just straightforward down the fairway type approach. There's not really much to this shot. Uh, you've got these bunkers over here on the left, which can be problematic if you land in trying to hit your approach shot. You typically want to take it from here straight, land it in the center of the fairway. Some like to hit that high draw and drop it in, which is also a really good approach and a good look. But for the most part, we're standing about probably a little over 400 yards from the tips back here. So, dude, let's go down the fairway. Let's check it out. If you can give them a look from where we came from, Parker. We came back there from the tips, as you can tell. Not too much to really worry about. And not too complicated on how I got here. I just took a good swing, took a good smash at it, landed out here in the center of the fairway. So, from where we currently stand, it's 172 yards to the pin. If you want to follow me over here, it proves a little bit more difficult. Uh, if you see up there, we've got a little waterway that's up there next to the green, a little pond over there. Tends to collect, tends to collect a lot of balls. Um, I myself personally have hit a bunch over there just because I can get aggressive when that, uh, when that pin's hugging the side of the green. But these, for the most part, if you hit it really bad, yes, you never want to land in the bunker, but I've also hooked it so hard that I'm like, I'm so thankful that these bunkers are actually there because they keep it from going in the natives, which again, Turf, Turf Brewer loves his natives out here at the farm. But we typically, we typically put these up here just to give you a little bit of a penalty, but there's not too, really not too much of a, uh, a hazard really near this hole unless you just hit it really 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 bad Ooh. oh it's not good come on guys let me show you where i landed let's just show you where you let's hit let's not uh let's not see that just let's just wrap this up also as you can tell right down here it gets when you hit from the center of the fairway there's a little collection area down here you've got the storm drain uh, just for drainage purposes for this hole but for the most part, it's pretty easy. It's very easy to get out of out of trouble if you miss the green or miss your shot. It's a pretty easy up and down. I did land in the water, uh, and it's fine. Kind of stinks, but hey, you, well, you didn't tell them the most important thing after you hit it in the water. Where are they going to drop? Oh, all right. So I'm arriving to my favorite part of the hole for hole two in any hole on the golf course, and that is the green. As you can tell, again, Turf Brewer here at the farm, Robert Mitchell is the leader, but Turf has got the crew out here, Hunter Brewer, keeping these greens nice and rolled. And as we said in the last uh, course vlog, for hole one, all of these greens out here are bent grass greens. And in the summertime, we keep them probably around like a nine, stimping because they've got to be able to survive this summer heat. It's pretty far south, rare to find. But here at Purcell Farms, we like to do things incredibly nice, tip-top shape. So we're not perfect, but we do strive for excellence. And I do want to let y'all know a couple things that when y'all come here on the holes, uh, or at least this hole, as you can tell the contour of the green, it kind of feeds down to the water. Uh, we, have, we have some uh, with the water over there typically rule of thumb if you don't know where it breaks it breaks towards the water we also have uh, sulfur mountain over there which the greens can easily break towards the mountain because of the gravitational pull but again as I am a master green reader as y'all have seen in these videos uh, I know just even by looking at it it's just slightly 
off beat so you get a little Chris Brown lean in there hit a smooth shot I mean it's gonna turn out pretty well for you and if you wanna if you wanna just follow me real quick I'll uh, I'll show you what it's like to track a ball towards the hole remember when you putt the ball you've got to be the ball you have to know you're gonna knock it in no knee wobbles no knockers just straight up all Kobe let's go I'm gonna trace all the way to this hole all the way to this hole and then BAM you get your birdie you get your eagle or you get your par or hey you know what you could have been like me been over there in that water right there and you know what get your double bogey but at the end of the day on hole two this is your desired destination this is the hole you want to get in all right thanks for coming thanks for watching another horse vlog here at Purcell Farms this is hole two we've got 16 more coming your way I got my brother behind the cam e -E. boom uh, my name is Marty P guys if you like what you see please subscribe and like the video please share it with all your friends we got a lot of content coming your way and if you want to see more stuff like this please let us know in the comment sections below we got a lot here at the farm going on we got a lot to show you but we'd love to have y'all out here my family to yours we'd love to see y'all out here and enjoy yourselves and again pursue excellence not perfection and guys we'll catch you in the next course vlog video peace